by the almost unthinkable notion of facing the Sixers without their captain. That lift would never come. The league's most valuable player would not make the trip to Philadelphia. Once again, it would be up to Magic to find a way to rally his team and to seize the moment. I sat in Kareem's seat on the plane, and I told the guys on the plane, and you can ask them all, don't fear, because 32 is here. Philadelphia, it is game six, the 76ers and the Lakers. The fate of L.A. hung in the balance as Magic took center stage. A young man by the name of Magic Johnson is going to start at center. And when Magic jumped in the center with Caldwell Jones, I actually almost started laughing because I was kept wondering what is going through Philly's mind. Ball goes up high now, high. And, uh, and he went down the low post and, and uh, he ended up scoring 42 points, 15 rebounds. And if he didn't score, he set Wilkes up to score. It is Game 6, the 76ers and the Lakers, coming up on CBS. All right, Rod, thank you very much. Russ, what about it now with Julius moving in uh, to take on Magic Johnson? Well, this is a distortion for both teams. I think the pressure is on Philadelphia because they have to play this team. In other words, you know, you can talk about Kareem in or out. It doesn't make any difference. He's not here. They've got to beat this Laker team that they put on the floor. Now, putting Magic Johnson at center is going to create some problems. What kind of problems? We'll have to wait and see. But they're going to take some adjustments on both teams. And how well Philadelphia adjusts to beating this team is what's going to count. The Lakers have got it pretty easy in that they got nothing to lose. You know, earlier today, everyone was saying, really, that the Lakers didn't have a chance without Kareem, but you're not so sure about that. Well, you see, if the 76ers don't play this team and make the changes that are necessary and exploit this team on the floor, the Lakers have a great chance of winning because they got, as I said, they got nothing to lose. They're going to be loose. And they got a much quicker team than they had before. This is a very fast basketball team. And height can sometimes be overcome by speed. All right, let's go to Magic now with Hot Rod Huntley. Hot Rod. All right, Brent Magic, but that's the big fella here. You're going to have to really go to the boards. And you had 15 the last game. Yeah, I'm going to have to really take up a lot of slack that, uh, Without him in the middle, uh, it's going to be a, a, a real job for me, Jim Jones, and Jamal Will. How about guarding Julia Serving? I understand you're going to play him. Well, I'm going to do my best whoever I play. Uh, I'm ready, and uh, I know my teammates are too. Are you going to play center on offense in this game? Yeah, I will be changing from center to forward on certain plays, depending what play we call. I will be playing from center and forward. You have played every position this year, and it's been a remarkable season for you. Yes, it has. Uh, it's been a learning experience, but I enjoy challenges, and it's a challenge tonight to see what I can do. All right, are you confident? Does everybody feel that you can win this thing and ice it up right here? Well, I'm confident. Uh, my teammates are. We're going to try to do our best run on them and push it up quick to try to create some early offense because of their size. All right, how about Kareem? Have you talked to him today? Is he ready? Well, uh, the trainer, our trainer has, and uh, he said he with us. I know his, his spirit is with us and everything. I just hope he's doing all right. In case we don't uh, come out with a victory, he'll be ready for Sunday. Okay, Magic, go get him. Thank you. Hi, Mom and Dad. <laughs> all right. Let's go back to Brent for the introduction of the starting lineups. Starting lineups have the 76ers with Irving, Caldwell, Jones, Dawkins, Cheeks, and Hollins. Matched against the Lakers with Jones and Wilkes at forward, and the Magic rookie at center. And Magic Johnson will come in and jump. Well, Chone says, get out of there. Or Michael Cooper or, or Magic Johnson. Hey, Brent, stay with any of those guys. So now you got a question for Philadelphia. Who are they going to put Dawkins on? And if they put Dawkins on Chones, who are they going to put Caldwell Jones on? I don't think they can guard any of those guys are too quick for them. It goes through Dawkins of the Sixers. Milo Hollins. Nixon comes out on him. Cooper is seeking cheeks in low. Wilkes has Julius Dawkins inside, tied up. Magic Johnson 
tying him up, and for the second time in the first minute, Magic's got to jump ball. Here's your play inside. Do you think that Dawkins isn't strong trying to go up, and Magic stayed right with him. Good play. Nixon comes the horn. Cheeks with him. Dribbles back out. Julius tried to draw the charge. Here's Magic. Maneuvers off. Dish Cooper. And that was Dawkins on the block. Now on the transition, it's Cheeks. Cheeks in the middle on the penetration. The Sixers on the line. Folds. Here's Hollins again to the glass. Magic with a rebound. Puts it down. Caldwell Jones with him. And so Magic puts it up at the perimeter. They have so many people, Brent, the Lakers, that can play down low. They took Cooper down to play before. Starts in on Wilkes. Oh, that's incredible. So a little more distraction on the defensive guys. To the left hand, Magic Johnson going inside on Julius. Is right. Dawkins and Jones are slow. Now they're both back. Julius on the jump of the glass. Six points, three field goals quickly here by the doctor. Seven, Cooper two, and Nixon looking for his first point tonight. Still wonder, they really seemed to rush it when they were looking for that three point. Today. Magic puts it down, gets inside of BJ. Reed series against Los Angeles, of course. The Knicks finally won it. Reed missed game six, just as Kareem is here. The doctor, and he hangs. Better start in this game. Spectrum crowd now starting to come alive. They might have thought it was going to be easy, too. Oh, the rolling hook shot by the young center. Hawkins hit Jones. No whistle. Julius. Heinsberger off on the dribble. With time running out here in the first period at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. The Los Angeles Lakers without Kareem lead the Philadelphia 76ers 32-29. Wanted to, Rod. Bobby moves it now to Bibby. Bibby at the three-point line, but he was inside of it with one foot. That's three big outside shots. Obviously, he's their best defensive player, and that's a key. Nixon missing, and it was magic underneath. Chance for the three-pointer. Did quite well. Yeah, taking, being the, running the offense. For Bibby all alone. Misfired. Magic got it away, and Julius collided and fouled it. That'll be a loose ball foul. Not in possession. Ball was still in the air when they fought for the rebound. You know, the referees are calling fouls. There are things that the guards can do. If they were to bump each other as hard as the centers do. Or Jim Jones playing with a couple of fouls. Let him turn the corner. It is 54-56ers. 3-10. Magic comes right back on the penetration. And it's a two-point game again. Collins. Here it comes. He's got an open man. It's Brad Holland, and Brad Holland shoots the layup. So it's even at 54. On the steal, it's Brad Holland coming out on the dribble. Holland, but Bobby Jones hustled into the passing lane. He wanted Nixon. Lead Dawkins oh. alone. Magic will give it to him. Holy oh, my. That ball fouled it down. And somebody had to hit it. It would have gone almost to the ceiling. I think he meant to dunk that. Look at this. Are you talking about with authority? Watch him shit rattle the backboard with that one. Take that. We got 17 on the clock against 19 on the game clock. They run it to 10 where it's at now, and they should go to work. Magic running in through the foul on Julius. And that's three on the doctor. Two field goals and two free throws and tied the score for him. Three Deadlocked again. Cheeks forces the issue on the turnover. Two seconds. Johnson fires. Almost in. What a magic Johnson. <laughs> almost gave us a little Houdini at the buzzer. A little hook shot from backcourt. Look at this. I mean, Jerry West. I give you an idea how strong he is. I give you an idea how the strength he has. Now that would have counted. That's a sky hook if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Pull a rabbit out of the hat. Yeah, if you had uh, 16 points, you made eight out of 10 shots. But yet you're, st you're just tied with this ball club playing without Kareem. They still out rebounded. You look like you don't have to go to the board again. Yeah, they're killing us on the boards. We scored plenty of points, but you look up there and they have 60. So it's not the type of game we want to play, no doubt about it. And that's what we talked about at halftime. How about uh, going to the wire? I thought you really did a great job taking charge in game five. Even though you lost it, you really did an outstanding job in that fourth period. And you wanted the basketball. And I'm sure that you want it now in the second half. Yeah, I want it now, but I want us to get some stops first. 
And then I think our offense will take care of itself. We scored 60. We can score another 60 this quarter. But we got to make some stops. We can't turn the ball over on offense and have them running their fast break down our throats. And then, of course, getting the second shots again, which has been a problem throughout the whole series. How about uh, stopping Magic? He had 22 points in the first half. You got to make some adjustments there. Uh, yeah, Magic was just playing like he had nothing to lose. He threw a sweeping hook shot in my face <laughs> and got to the foul line a few times. So we'll try to quiet him down. But, um, you know, I think the big thing is, like I said, you know, not let them get as many points as they did in the first half and not let them get in as easy as they got them. Okay, Doc. Good luck to you. All right. Okay, Brent. Philadelphia time. Nixon sends it to Magic. Magic gets to the baseline. 24 points for the rookie. He's right. That wasn't a brick. That was constant. Great pass inside to Cooper with Magic Johnson looking left. Hey, with the look, he spots his man, and here it comes. On the interception on the lazy pass, it is that rookie again. Magic dishes Wilkes this time. Back to Cheeks. On its way. The run is still alive. Lead now to Cooper. Cooper will come in on Hollins. Cheek switches over and Magic coming down on the penetration sends it back to Michael on its way. Up high, Caldwell Jones. They're giving him a 10-footer. They should take an 8-footer. Jones to screen on Julius. Magic takes the set on its way and they run it 12 now. Julius on the set. Run is still alive as Jones yanks it away. Quickly now to Johnson. Bibby Gamble. Magic comes inside. Dishes wants Wilkes. Beautiful pass. And now it is a 14 point run. Six assists. Bobby Jones had one swatted away by Jones. And he and Magic shake hands underneath. <laughs> Look at it again. What a play. Here comes Big Jim right over the top. Doctor sends it back. Bibby on its way. Back for Los Angeles. Nixon positions the offense. Magic will take a set shot on Bobby Jones and 28 now for the rookie from Michigan State. 88-76. Absolutely. He has done everything superbly. Mix on the bounce pass to the doctor. Julius looking for daylight. Scoop. Two down. The Sixers. 88-78. Magic, Magic missed. Plansberger battles. Off comes Cheeks in a foot race. It's two on two. Cheeks looks for daylight. Dishes now to the doctor. And Julius with two in a row. And here come the Sixers. This foul. Roots reached on in. That's four fouls. 106 90 80. And the doctor with an even 20 at the line. A magnificent athlete out of Massachusetts who went to the ABA, drove the New York and Nets to a world championship. Now here in Philadelphia. Lost a six-game title series to Portland, and he's in the sixth game against Los Angeles, and he has missed three free throws here in the second half. Minute left, third period, 90-81, nine-point lead. Lakers were up by 14. Lansberger comes high for Nixon. Now rotates down inside. Mix keeps an eye. They go to Cooper on the turnaround. Seal left by Bobby Jones. Foul call. They've been free them for shots. And then they're out of position when they commit fouls like that play on Cooper. Here comes the 20-year-old rookie down the middle. Dawkins went to him and scored and sent him to the line. Under pressure to the left hand came Johnson that time. From Lansing, Michigan, shooting for his 31st point. He has played center. Hollins checks the clock. The doctor rotates left. Cooper will come with him. Outside, three-pointer on its way short. Landsberger, two seconds. That's going to end the third period. The Los Angeles Lakers are within 12 minutes of a world championship, and the NBA on CBS will continue after these messages from your local stations. 95-87, and Cheeks bringing it up. Philadelphia has outscored Los Angeles at the free throw line 9-1 in the second half. But the Sixers still have missed five critical free throws. Inside to the doctor. He challenges Tim Cones, and it's 95-89. It is down to six. That's what they need more of. Watch the doctor take it to the hoop. Right over two. 97-89. Cheeks sends the mix. They hand on back to Cheeks. Inside, and you can just feel the doctor now trying to come alive. And so they don't play as well as they should. Turn around by Jamal Wilkes. Run out and Caldwell Jones. Now the Sixers can pull to within four. Here comes the doctor. Julius goes to the side of the ball. 7 in regulation. Three. Here comes Michael Cooper. Cross court off Magic's hand. Julius in a foot race. Cooper goes out after that hit. The duck out of bounds. No, he said he was stepping on the line. It goes to the Sixers. 
at Philadelphia, 7-12. Mix goes into Irving. Three team fouls on the Lakers, two on the Sixers. The doctor in the air and tapped in by Bobby Jones. White lightning sky on the left side. The action would not stay in. Bobby Jones out battle. Lakers come away. It's magic in the middle. Quick hit to Nixon. Nixon on the glide and Steve Mix with an unbelievable block. Tapped in finally by Magic Johnson. Oh. Stolen by Nixon on the bad pass. Norman comes back, and here's Magic inside for the layup. Sending him to the free throw line. Chance for the three-point play. 35 points for the rookie. That's a bad pass by Julius. They usually pick it up, but as Magic went right in, on his foul. And the Lakers closing in behind Magic Johnson, who has done everything tonight. This flow going the whole game. Cooper sends it back out to Jones. Nine on the shot clock. Whip it inside to Magic. An unbelievable performance by Magic Johnson. 5 10. I'll bet you I tell you one guy that's really proud of this team. That's Kareem back home watching this one. Here comes Jamal. He puts down two more. Up to the doctor. The final seconds count down in Philadelphia. The crowd grows quiet now. From behind his back, it's the rookie. Opening up, Bibby fouls him, and Magic Johnson steps up to that free throw line. Here is Magic. Third. I think he might be the favorite in L.A. for a few weeks. <laughs> At 40, and the Lakers. Toon fouling Magic. Very little left to conquer. <laughs> He's not alone. He may put out a one-man hunt for Dr. Jerry Buss. I want to talk to you. <laughs> so we'll be inside that locker room. We'll talk to Magic Johnson. There it is. It's over. And the most valuable player is Magic Johnson. 42 points, 15 rebounds, and 7 assists. He starts at center, plays forward and guard, and leads the Los Angeles Lakers to a world championship, 123-107 over Philadelphia without Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And the Lakers have announced that they'll have a victory rally at noon tomorrow in the parking lot of the Forum. And the disappointed Philadelphia 76ers head back to their locker room with a tired and deservedly so Magic Johnson. Speaking of being part of a team, it was a pleasure again to be a part of the CBS team this year. I'm Brent Musburger saying so long from Philadelphia. We'll see you next season.